It's been 20 days since Hamas attacked Israel. Families who survived and have loved ones missing came to New York from Israel to share their stories. Three of them sat down with CBS 2's Shosh Bedrosian for an exclusive interview. After their worlds were turned upside down, homes destroyed, and friends and family now missing, three families are sharing their stories. I feel that it's been very meaningful. People being here telling our stories, telling the world you know, speaking truth to power. Adele Raymer from New York and her family survived one of the several gruesome attacks on their kibbutz in southern Israel. They tried to slaughter me. My grandchildren, two, six, and eight, would be dead now if it weren't for the fact that their father was in the house with them and had a gun. Like Raymer, Michael Asker's family's home was ransacked and destroyed on kibbutz near Oz. His brother-in-law and nephew were taken hostage into Gaza. We have a 12 years old boy all alone there. He last seen going on a motorcycle into Gaza. And 27-year-old Maya Prazer survived the Nova Music Festival and hid in a bomb shelter for 23 hours. Her car dashboard camera captured bodies on the streets and videos of Hamas terrorists torturing innocent civilians. I have a lot of friends who are not with me today. Many of them are kidnapped. Two of them, one of them is kidnapped and another is dead. All three of them are American Israeli citizens, now in the U.S., telling their stories. The group says while in New York, they have noticed the kidnap posters of hostage victims ripped down. What did a toddler do to deserve being kidnapped, to deserve not seeing their parents? The group hopes the realities they and their loved ones endured are seen, heard, and their stories touch people's inner compassion and humanity. I want everyone who's watching to maybe choose to learn about someone some kid, some elderly, some woman, some man who is being captured. These are not just pictures. These are human beings, and they need our help. Shosh Bedrosian, CBS 2 News.